Example one, we're going to write a number in scientific notation. And scientific notation uh, asks us to identify the position of the decimal point of the number, which, if it has no decimal point identified, is at the very end, right-hand side of the number. And we want to put that decimal place right after the first non-zero digit. So if I'm looking at this, 3 is a non-zero digit. It's the first one. So I'm going to write 3.6. Okay. The number that's written right here is called the abscissa. And its value is to be between 1 and 10. <clears throat> so the smallest number A could be is 1. It can go all the way up to 10, but not including 10. Because if it's 10, then you move the decimal point over, it be 1 again. So 1.0 is the smallest A could be. It's going to be between 1 and 10 every time. And then you're going to do times 10 to some power. And the power goes right here. And the power represents how far you moved. And it's either positive or negative, depending on which direction you moved. Now, I don't know about other teachers and how they've described scientific notation to you. Um, if you move one way, you think a positive. But if you move another way, you go negative. And I, th I find students get a little bit confused with that. So I, I like to go with the complementary idea of whatever happens to the abscissa, the opposite happens to the power of 10. So if the abscissa gets smaller, the power gets bigger, positive. If the abscissa gets bigger, the power gets smaller, negative. So um, in this case, you can see the decimal point moves six spaces to go where it became 3.6, right? And I just count to find that out. It was here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's how far it moved. So this is either 6 or negative 6. And then again, it's just a matter of asking myself what happened. So from here to here, 3,600,000 3, 3, got smaller to make 3.6, right? So the power is going to be bigger to account for it. So positive 6. This gets smaller. This is positive. And that's the answer, 3.6 times 10 to the 6th. That is our task in a problem of this variety, to write something in scientific notation.